Wild Zero is a 1999 Japanese comedy horror movie, directed by Tetsuro Takeuchi, and features the Japanese rock and roll trio Guitar Wolf, who star as themselves. Our story begins with the arrival of hundreds of alien spacecraft, as the punk band Guitar Wolf, entertain a sellout crowd. In the audience a young man named Ace, stares adoringly at the lead singer of Guitar Wolf, appropriately named Guitar Wolf, and dreams that one day he too will get the chance to front a band of his own, and follow in the footsteps of his heroes. After the show, Ace goes backstage hoping to meet his favorite rockers, but stumbles into a Mexican standoff. Shots are fired, some chap's head goes pop, and the story's main antagonist loses some fingers as a result of the mayhem. Ace doesn't have a clue what he just walked in on, but it doesn't matter, as his presence potentially saved the lives of his punk rocking idols. Guitar Wolf is forever in Ace's debt, and to show his gratitude, gives Ace a whistle, which he can blow if he is ever in danger. Once blown, the band will come to his aid. I wonder if he's ever going to get a chance to use it. Place your bets now. Next we are plunged into the storylines of a lone arms dealer awaiting the arrival of a Yakuza boss with a briefcase full of cash, a bickering couple strapped for cash with their quietly psychotic driver, and a lonely girl who enters a gas station. The quiet driver attempts to rob the gas station, which sends the lonely girl into a state of shock, and Ace saves the day by opening the door on the hapless robber. Meanwhile, the Yakuza boss and his cronies are held up when they encounter some Dawn of the Dead-esque zombies in the middle of the road, which forces the arms dealer to grow impatient and leave the rendezvous point. And this is where the movie begins, slow-moving zombies are bloody everywhere, Ace is tasked with saving the lonely girl, and the bickering couple are scared shitless after their best mate is ripped to shreds. Will Ace save the day, and conquer his ambition of becoming a rock and roll god? Will the drug-addled captain reunite with Guitar Wolf, and get revenge for the loss of his fingers? And where the hell did all these zombies come from? There really is no explanation whatsoever. Wild Zero is pure silly action-packed lunacy from start to finish, and is a low-budget fever dream jam packed with gore, punk rock, and explosions. This isn't the kind of movie you watch for the award-winning acting or spell-binding story, this is the kind of movie you watch when you want to see something downright ridiculous. And it dials the ridiculousness up to 11. If you want hordes of zombies disemboweling innocent people, then you've come to the right place. But that's not all. Questionable costumes, electric eyeballs that can destroy alien spacecraft, and guitar picks that can fry a car park full of the undead quicker than you can say lick my love pump, are on the menu in this Japanese splatter fest. There's even a zombie love story, which would be touching if it didn't involve the two most irritating characters in the movie. One of the more fascinating storylines in Wild Zero is the relationship between Ace and the lonely girl named Toby O. Ace is compelled to rescue Tobio when he realizes that she is vulnerable to the zombie invasion, but after they kiss, she reveals that she is, in fact, a bloke. Ace freaks out and runs away, but Guitar Wolf appears, and reminds Ace that love, much like rock and roll, has no borders, nationalities, or genders, which makes him reconsider how he feels about Tobio. This may be the only poignant moment in the entire film, and only further reiterates how much of a badass Guitar Wolf really is. With his dark sunglasses, Elvis-like hairdo, and ever-present red guitar, he steals the show in every scene he appears in. Whether it's his breakneck performances into fire-spitting microphones, acting cool in times of great tension, or blowing shit up without looking, the guy just personifies awesomeness. The reviews of this movie range from spectacular, giving the film cult status, to absolute gutter trash, but personally I can enjoy Wild Zero for what it is. A mishmash of over-the-top characters in an over-the-top setting, and if you can forgive the mediocre acting, bargain bin special effects, and wafer-thin plot, then sit back and let Wild Zero take you on a wild ride. So what did you think of this rock and roll zombie flick? Was it cool as a cucumber? 
or did it have you running for the hills? Let me know in the comments below, and if you liked the video, why not give it a thumbs up, or subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this one. I've been HB, the horror bot. Cheers babes.